we just had a breaking information just come out about new stuff for GTA 6. Specifically what the plot for the game and the campaign is going to be. And also some new location and potential islands that we are going to be able to visit in the game as a part of the new map for GTA 6. So make sure you guys stick around, you're not going to want to miss this out. This information that literally just came out earlier this morning, but this is all came out via an insider known as Tyler McVicker. If you guys don't know who this guy is, please check out the description below and you guys will know who this is. He's actually the founder of the Valve News Network, which in case you guys don't know who the Valve is, it's a very big gaming creating company that had created massive massive titles like CSGO, but he actually was the founder and starter of the news network that reported on the upcoming games, news, leaks, updates and pretty much kept everyone up to the date with everything. And he also likely to have an insider connection with other game big titles such as Rockstars and many other games. Which is why the information we are getting from him is very very reliable stuff. But the GTA 6 leaker account tweeted saying the GTA 6 will be reportedly including a part of Cuba's island alongside with Vice City and will feature flashbacks to add depth to the plot launching in 2024. And for more insight on where he's getting this information from, this is actually coming from the live stream that the Tyler McVicker did a few days ago. Where the article goes on to say, while responding to a question during the live stream, Tyler McVicker is asked if he knows anything about GTA 6. He instantly responded that it's relating to the Bonnie and Clyde story which he suggests that the means that we already know how is likely to end. McVicker also then quickly rattles off some things that he knows about the game including that he has two playable characters that one being Jason and another being Lucia has the time jump of some kind and will feature Cuba as a playable area on this map. So guys, considering these facts, this is some of the valuable information coming from the Tyler McVicker. We already knew there was going to be two main characters. So this is some very valuable information that we already got to know from few leakers last time that is Jason and Lucia which are going to be our main protagonist in the GTA 6. But one new piece of information here that's very big is the fact that he said Cuba will be the playable area which makes a lot of sense. A lot of people are speculating that the map that we are going to get in GTA 6 is gonna be Vice City. This is going to be based on the coast of Florida somewhere most likely to be Miami. So it makes a lot of sense that the Cuba will be playable area since this literally off the coast and shares the same ocean. And also does confirm that maybe there is going to be multiple different maps and islands that we are not going to be considered in just one single map. Maybe once you get on a boat or a plane or go over to a Cuba, the map and everything that you pull up will be a completely different or this might just be a big bridge or something that connects them between them. And they are trying to make this seem all interconnected in one big map. Now there was also few people apart from the GTA community here we were playing on these tweets and new pieces of information that had their own cool new ideas foreshadowing and easter eggs that currently Rockstar Games has actually done. But one thing that is coming from the Rockstar News Twitter account who goes on a tweet saying Gurama of Red Dead 2 was a test for a tropical environment for GTA 6. Also there were some other leaks that this guy was founded was assets of modern guns found in the Red Dead 2 code. And if you guys don't know what this means, Red Dead 2 was a Rockstar last big video game release. It's a kind of similar of GTA in the same sense that it's very realistic with real life graphics, weapons, animation and you guys know horses. It's meant to be a plenty realistic remake of the older and western times. Which I think personally would be why everyone really enjoyed it. But this guy over here pointing out the Gorama, a mapper island in Red Dead 2. This has already tested the tropical environment which is an obvious a great way for Rockstar to test their assets. Obviously a great way of Rockstar to test their assets animation to make sure it looks how it wants. So when they released it for a GTA 6 and they also found modern guns in the files as well as this new map which means that maybe they're testing some of their early stages of GTA 6 weapons and new guns coming into the game in Red Dead 2. Now we also have another tweet coming from a Mohammed who says, we also had Cayo Perico in GTA Online which is new Cuba in the Caribbean. And it's all about drug cartels so that is kind of giving some of information that they had previously. Maybe this has some connection of the GTA Online map with the Cayo Perico. And maybe the addition of Cuba will actually expand on the storyline of the drug cartels and everything else. 
and who knows guys maybe this actually exposes the main storyline of GTA 6. I do think there will be a little bit deeper than some drug cartels but this definitely could bring a big plot for the storyline or at least a little side mission or something that you could do a visiting a new Cuba island which is 100% confirmed by this information guys. So there is a lot of speculation here but it is cool that we do have some insider information coming from a Tyler McPicker. Shout out for this guy for giving us this information. Maybe he easily could have just kept this information to himself. So it's cool that he's sharing some information but that's all we got for you guys today. If you guys are excited for the addition of Cuba and all the new information, if you guys are brand new, we are going to be posting GTA 6 leaks every single day and pretty much everything you guys need to know about GTA 6 online experience. So guys once again make sure to hit that subscribe button you guys don't want to miss it thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one so take it easy and happy gaming